Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Recently, I managed to visit an oldest museum in Peninsula Malaysia, which is the Perak Museum, located in Taiping, near the Taiping Jail. This building was built in 1883. As you can see, in the front yard, there's um, an ancient grave that was reconstructed here. The grave was actually found in Sungai Perak, together with bronze vessels and tools and bark cloth buried beneath it. Well, as you enter this museum, the first gallery would be the ethnological gallery that displays the handwork, the handicraft of the aborigines and some of the equipments, the tools that they use during hunting and gatherings some of the um, cultural uh, face masks that they carved on woods. Well, the gallery of the uh, aborigines are extended to the second floor. The next gallery is the nature gallery. It comprises of animal, geological, botanical, marine and freshwater life. The first display you see here is the horse. Well, the skeleton displays here are all from original animals that they preserved and they assemble it for display. This one is the Melan Saro or Kambing Gurun, which I think it is hardly found these days well some of this display have been around here for over hundreds of years they started collecting animal uh, remains since the british occupations so you can see here these are the primates this one is the tiger. The other one over there is the leopard, the smaller one. This one is the leopard. And now we are looking at the two honey bears. One is standing upright. The other one is standing on four paws. Well, the second largest animal skeleton that they display is this tapir. Well, all these glass cases display animals like the avian, the birds, and the small mammals like the uh, pangolins, sea vets. Okay, this is the enormous display that they have here. The elephant. This is the real elephant. And they preserve its skeleton and have it display here, which is wonderful. We can appreciate the task, the scapula, the ribs, the pelvis, the femur, all those larger bones to the smallest bone it has. And there's an audiovisual display here that could help. Uh, explaining to the t visitors about this elephant. Well, all this um, unique presentation in the form of diorama makes this museum very interesting. It's an eye-catching because it looks 
as though they are living in its real habitat. And some of these animals are taxodermied, which they took from uh, the real animal. Uh, they remove all its contents, the organs, and they stuff it with cotton balls or something, and they sew it and they replace the eyes with the fake eyes some of the animals are made of clay i think that the buffalo they made it using clay i guess why they taxodermy because they want to preserve the originality like the feathers like the furs the features so it looks real and the otters I have a hard time um, recognizing mongoose and sea vets some of these are rare animals well this is the uh, marine display it's just uh, a simple display that it, they exhibit a collections of seashells you can see some of the clams all the shells different sizes different shapes and patterns and you can see here this type of shark the turtle and this fish well, the next gallery is the cultural gallery where it display the handicraft handwork of Malaysian people. Uh, these heritage that have been around more than 100 years, like the embroidery using gold and silver thread, all this heritage we need to preserve so that the next generation could appreciate it. And it also display a musical instrument. One of it is the Dabus music instruments. I didn't manage to go to the second floor as the museum was about to close. So I wandering around at the backyard. You can see antique cars and some antique vehicles like the Trishaw and a cannon. And I went to the other side of the museum, the building. You can see a bronze statue of Robert Sunderland Fort Walker, who was uh, a former Malay guide regiment in 1879. He served almost 31 years in Tanah Melayu. You can see uh, an aircraft, Pera Railway coach. Um, the green one is the steam engine. Yes, this one and an anchor. I hope you enjoy this little tour. Thank you very much.